As you know, we reserve a few minutes Sunday mornings to suggest news or trends that we see that seem to be predicted by the plain futurist reading of the Bible. We're careful to use recognized, reliable sources for our news, a lot of sensationalism surrounding unfulfilled Bible prophecy, and we don't want to add to that or uh, have people think we're sensational and then not listen to what we're actually saying. Now, we're not saying that the things we report are the fulfillment of prophecy, only they're things that you would expect to be happening in the world uh, based on what God says is going to happen in the end times. Some of the things we follow would include the growing apostasy, the falling away in the church itself, people going after false doctrines, instantaneous global communication, the push for a global government, the move towards a global cashless society, accessed by some sort of personal identifier, a mark of some sort, an exponential leap in human knowledge, and we see that happening, of course, right now with AI. By far, however, the most important and exciting end times indicator is the nation of Israel regathered together in the land promised her by God. Dr. Arnold Fruchtenbaum writes, anyone who reads the Bible will soon realize that the Jewish people are the apple of God's eye. Israel, they will quickly see, is the centerpiece of divine prophetic activity. Dr. Michael Reitelink writes, it cannot be denied that not only have the children of Israel endured despite the harsh treatment they have received, but against all odds, after 2,000 years of exile, the Jewish people have once again returned to the land of Israel, as the biblical prophets promised they would. The Hebrew prophets foretold a day when God would draw his people back to Israel. So think of Israel today, what's going on in Israel today, not just the war, but just in general. While I read this verse from Zechariah, it says, and it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a very heavy stone for all people. All who would heave it away will surely be cut in pieces, though all nations of the earth are gathered against it. Uh, and so, you know, we don't see all the nations of the earth gathered against Israel right now, but this, you know, is something we would expect to be happening. Israel back in her land, people upset about that. There are demonstrations and protests all over the world that are pro-Palestinian. Uh, and, and so, again, we're not taking a political stand here. We support Israel, obviously, as a free country. But uh, this is what the Bible says is going to happen in the end time. So when you see this, the remarkable rebirth of Israel and then enemies against her and the whole world piling on, then, uh, you, you know, the Bible is like coming true right before your very eyes. It's expected but not encouraging that the U.S. is wavering in support. I read an article whose title was a question U.S. and Arab states plotting imposed peace plan upon Israel. A scheme, here's the excerpt, a scheme uh, has been uncovered that apparently would involve announcing unilaterally a Palestinian state. The proposed plan, uh, described by the Washington Post, calls for the withdrawal of many, if not all, settler communities on the West Bank, a Palestinian capital in East Jerusalem, the reconstruction of Gaza, and security and governance arrangements for a combined West Bank and Gaza. Stunningly, the action could involve early U.S. recognition of a Palestinian state, even as elements of political reform, security guarantees for both Israel and the Palestinians, normalization and reconstruction are being implemented. Uh, Israel, according to reports, would be left out of the process entirely. Israel's national security minister, Itamar ben Giver said on social media, 1,400 murdered, and the world wants to give them a state of their own. It won't happen. And so it's tense over there, obviously. It's interesting, historically, uh, President Harry Truman was the first world leader, uh, and the United States was the first country to recognize Israel as a state, and uh, now we're considering being the first to recognize the Palestinian state. Uh, and of course, you know, the People were talking about uh, Hamas and those guys. They just want to destroy Israel and kill every Jew on planet Earth. So it's not like they're uh, forging a compromise. Anyway, it's an interesting time. Uh, and exactly what you'd expect if the Bible was predictive. And it is. So we believe chapters 4 through chapters 19 in the Revelation are all unfulfilled future prophecies and that there are many other unfulfilled future prophecies. Prophecies, And that's why we call ourselves futurists, 
those things will actually take place in the future and be fulfilled. One thing that we see coming is a great tribulation. Uh, it's gonna last for seven years. It's gonna be like nothing the world has ever seen before. It's not localized, it's all over the planet. You can read about it in Revelation 4 through 19, and it's awful. Uh, at the end of it, Jesus is gonna return. He may even return before the end of the seven years to, because he, sa it's, he says, I might have to do that because it's gonna be so bad. Uh, but he's gonna come back and establish a kingdom of God on earth that he had promised to Israel in the Old Testament. Now, what about us? We're the church, and Jesus promised in Revelation 3.10, I will keep you from the hour of trial, which will come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. He keeps us entirely out of those seven years by raising the dead in Christ, those deceased believers, uh, they will be raised from the dead with a glorified resurrection body. And then the uh, Bible says that we who are alive and remain will be changed. We will be given our glorified body in the rapture, and we will all be taken home together. Uh, the return of the Lord for us is imminent. It could happen at any time. People scoff and say, oh, where is the promise of his coming? Nothing's changed since the beginning. And that's just not true. Uh, and, you know, the Lord's in no hurry. Uh, to him, it's only been a couple of days uh, because uh, time is different. A thousand years is like a day. A day is like a thousand years. Uh, but that time is coming when he comes for the church to resurrect uh, the dead in Christ and uh, rapture us. And then at some point after that, the great tribulation and then the second coming. And so the idea is that are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming. <laughs>